Ask Reddit by Horned Owl's Nest. What is the best video game for couples to play? Divinity Original Sin 2 was perfect for me and my ex since we are both in 2D and AMP. D. Came here to say do's too. My wife and I loved playing through it together. Portal and Portal 2. Wait. There's Coop in Portal 1. Maisu and I play Dead by Daylight as survivors. We get frustrated together when the killer is good, and we cheer together when the killer is bad. Perfect bonding experience. I once played as the killer for my husband and his friends. The previous killers made the mistake of constantly talking and giving away where they were. Me? I was very quietly patient while they blabbed and got drunker. I slipped up because I couldn't help giggling when I was about to pounce on one of them. They were fucking creeped out and loved it. Gang beasts, trust me you will laugh yourselves to death. And if you like that goofy nonsense, Human Fall Flat is a good co-op puzzle game with the same kind of mechanics. Edit, if you guys want to see some gameplay, I highly recommend Fun Horse. They have a few hilarious playthroughs that aren't too long. Unravel 2 is super relaxing and cute. Bought this to play with my wife, she doesn't really play games but she enjoyed the first one. Overcooked, if you love a cooperation challenge. It could also ruin your relationship. Edit, oh silver. Also, for those looking for a similar experience with less stress, you might try Dina Bros, though I think it's only on Steam PC at the moment. I had so much fun playing this with my girlfriend until she decided to go on break then it became just me trying to race the clock. Me. Babe we need to make tomato soup why are you in the corner? Ho, oh, I'm on break. Me. What? Castle Crashers. Battle Block Theater by the same team is awesome too. Snipper Clips. It's for two people and it's where people work together. Edit, thanks for the awards and upvotes. It means a lot to me. It's even better at making your friends hate you than Mario Party. My wife and I play Don't Starve together a lot on the PC. We both have our own PCs and it is such a great time. Edit first ever gold, that is awesome thanks a ton. Besides DST, my wife and I love playing single player detective games where you need to solve an overarching mystery we get addicted and we must complete it together and she usually watches and helps solve while I do the actual playing. They are a slow burn with hardly any action and are great to spend time with a partner on. Examples are The Pain Creek Killings and Return of the Obra Dinners are two favorites we spend dedicated time together on. Can't believe I had to scroll this far to see DST. Good choice though, I used to play it with my ex too. Really teamwork building haha. <laughs> Edit, my very first silver, thanks friend. Also when I first commented this, DST was all the way down, hence the scrolling so far. Borderland split screen is great. My husband and I always argue about getting the best loot and guns. Edit, lots of folks saying to duplicate loot. Part of the fun is the competition we have to get the best things first and wind each other up. It's part of our gaming dynamic. My girlfriend and I are waiting for 3. Can confirm we fight over loot which usually goes 3 items for her then 1 for me. Fireboy and Water General 3, The Ice Temple. F to Flash. Terraria is pretty fun for co-op. Came here to say this as Terraria is our go-to game to play together. My wife never got into 3D FPS controls, but grew up playing Mario and EK, so the 2D approach in Terraria is great for her. It's a lot of fun, and it works well using phones tablets as well. My wife doesn't really like video games but she loves playing co-op Lego Jurassic Park with me. So I think most of the LEGO games would work. They are also great if you want to play with your kids. 
my son and I have played all the LEGO video games countless times. They're a blast without being too intense for someone who isn't that into video games. We don't enjoy the newest ones quite as much because they've tried to make them cooler without adding any challenge. Tap o repeatedly while your character does cool moves, but they are still fun. I'd recommend Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and Lego Batman II to start, especially if you're a fan of any of those franchises. Edit, people have shamed me for leaving off Lego Star Wars, the complete saga and they are right to do it, it's an awesome Lego game. Next year there's Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga and I'm counting down the days. Mario Kart It's all fun and games until you get blue shelled at the finish line on the third lap. Lovers in a dangerous space-time. You both pilot a spaceship and have to cooperate to complete the levels. It's super fun and the music is great. It's a really great game and it's even better with more players. Stardew Valley I didn't know it was a two-player game. That's awesome. Little Big Planet. My husband and I have never laughed harder when we were playing the Boomtown level and one of us kept setting off the bombs. 100% agree. Love this game. Never laughed so hard in my life than when I was playing with my husband and he somehow glitched and got stuck under the dog in the beginning. Then the dog dragged him through the entire level, all while he kept trying to get out. Overcooked. This game is like marriage counseling for us. We either figure it out and work together, or we let out our frustrations over how fucking incompetent the other person is. Humans fall flat. Stardew Valley or Barber is you. No game has simultaneously made me feel like both a genius and a complete and utter moron like Barber is you did. Usually those two feelings are within minutes of one another, sometimes seconds. Crusader Kings 2 If your partner doesn't leave you for Mary and your hot pagan daughter then your relationship is true. Also holds up in game. Ah but you can join the satanists to possess her and ensure her fidelity, then become mad and fall in love with Glitterhoof. Edit, is it possible to possess players though? I know a couple that plays Destiny 2 together a lot, they have a good time. Also a big plus one for Minecraft. Minecraft is an absolute unit of multiplayer. My GF, best friend, and I play together a lot and it's a blast. Edit, I was trying to be wholesome guys. Wife and I played through Divinity, Original Sin. The pacing and co-op elements were great. And we both enjoyed the writing. Plus you can save basically any time, which makes it good for nights where we didn't have a ton of time. Any of the LEGO games, though I'm particularly fond of LEGO Lord of the Rings. They're very entertaining and all have split screen co-op. I just gotta say that I'm still super salty that LEGO Hobbit did not have a fucking ending. They just didn't finish the damn game. Here are the games my BF and I play, most of the games we play are PC games and we play with controllers. I will note if they are not PC. We are both game nerds, so we play some obscure things sometimes. Overcooked my guy and I love it. It is challenging, silly and fun. It is also a coop style game so you need to communicate, plan and support to be able to complete some of the super hard levels. Supports up to 4 players. Cuphead OMG Hard, side-scrolling shooter game done in the style of 1930s cartoons, hand animated, and a Netflix show coming out soon. I suck at it but we still have fun with it. For up to two players. Lego Games, Xbox 360, fun, nostalgic, story-based and lots of game options. We are currently playing Lego Star Wars and Pirates of the Caribbean. Various emulator games we have played arcade games on emulator, last one was TMNT Arcade, later got to play the actual machine at a convention and beat it. We have even played games that are older than us, both 37. 
keep talking and nobody explodes. The best part about this game is you can include others in it and it makes such a fun party game. Wife here. Life is strange. Overcooked. Portal 2 co-op. Gang beasts. Mount your friends. Parkitect. Sims 4. City Skylines. Lego Harry Potter. Zelda Breath of the Wild. PUBG. Paper Mario. Edit, added more. Not as a co-op, but it's fun to play something like Fallout and let your significant other pick all the decisions, dialogue options, and where to go next. My ex watched me play the entirety of Sleeping Dogs, we were both enthralled. Mario Party on the 64. This is what you play if you want to end a relationship. Sims. Since time is accelerated in the game you can find out if you will eventually get a divorce and just get it over with. Haha, <laughs> my wife made us in that game but she doesn't have the attention span to play a whole lifetime, so we just had our first kid when she moved on to an alien family. Rayman Legends is severely underrated. My wife and I played this to 100%. Great couch co-op. Minecraft. Lovers in a dangerous spacetime, pick Unico, Snipper Clips, Overcook 1 and Amp, 2. Also if one of you enjoys watching something more story based most of the choose your own adventure games work great. Life is Strange, Until Dawn, The Walking Dead, ETC. 1 Volt 1 Maps in CSGO. If your relationship can survive that, it can survive anything. Deleted. One of the first dates with my wife was playing Borderlands 2 Ale on party style in my living room. Now we play Civ. Correction, she plays charting while I play Civ. Haha <laughs> my girlfriend also loves to explore the world in Civ. It's definitely her favorite part. We never finish games though because once she has discovered the whole map she usually gets bored. Unless I can convince her to go to war with someone. Even then it usually only buys me like 20 turns. Worms. Civilization on high difficulty. If your relationship can endure that, move on to a board game called Diplomacy. If it can survive that, put a ring on it. My wife and I love Civ Revolution, the old console version of Civ, and more recently, Civ 6. We hook the laptop up to our 65 inch TV and play with a wireless keyboard mouse in the living room. She will have control, and I'll help with strategy planning. However, she finally won her first culture victory on King, all by herself, and was so proud. I was quite proud too I must admit. Mario Odyssey. Playing as Cappy is actually pretty fun. This is especially fun if one of you is not that great at video games because Cappy can't really die, only Mario can. The game is also a lot easier as a two player game because now the person playing Mario doesn't have to control Cappy at the same time. Basically they benefit from you playing with them but it's still their fault when they die. For a game where either can be badasses but together is better, Dynasty Warriors. Most Warriors games that are multiplayer fits this. For a game where teamwork is crucial, keep talking and nobody explodes. Until dawn, if she gets scared she might hug you. Played like this with my girl, she made the decisions and I reacted. Sometimes she was so caught off guard I had to make the decision haha. <laughs> About to start Man of Medan soon. Definitely fun experience. Diablo III. Came and scrolled a long time to find this. D3 is a great two player game that has incredible replay value. I'll probably get some hate for this but Pokemon Go, you basically go out for walks to random places with your girlfriend and you catch rare Pokemon together. My wife and I do this. 
No hate just love we have fun doing it. You can never go wrong with split screen Halo. My girlfriend and I go though all of them every year or so. Minecraft. Are you a block of dirt? Because I dug you. Delete it. Would be interesting to see a coop mechanic gameplay added where one plays as Link and the other as Zelda. My GF isn't much of a gamer, but we play LA Noir. I do the driving and shooting, etc. and she loves the crime aspect and trying to figure out how to solve said crime and who is guilty and what not. That and we also play Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune on the Switch if you're into that stuff. Lastly, check out Jackbox Party Pack. You play with your phone and it's great for multiple players too. Brothos. I think you mean Brothos. If you wanna play an easy peasy peaceful game go for Minecraft and if you want some challenge then you can try Don't Starve Together. Honestly, I feel like an understated couple game would be SimCity I. You can kinda of faff about doing your own thing, but you can also collaborate. Another great game idea is a game that you can trade off easily. I think Resident Evil 4 is good for this. And finally, any multiplayer RPG of sorts can be a great way to bond. Deleted. I wish they were still producing the band in a box sets. I miss this game more than anything and have a shitload of DLC. Warframe is a good one. It's free to boot.